There's an electrical difference between the inside of a cardiac myocyte, which is negative, and the outside of a myocyte, which is positive. The cell membrane is selectively permeable, meaning that only certain ions can get in and out of the cell at specific times. The main ions involved are sodium, potassium, and calcium. The cardiac action potential has five different phases, labeled zero through four, and each cycle starts and ends with phase four. Phase four is the resting phase, and the resting potential is negative 90 millivolts. At this point, potassium is inside the cell, and sodium and calcium are outside of the cell, and neither can get into the cell because the sodium fast channels and the calcium slow channels are both closed. However, the sodium fast channels leak, so some sodium is able to get inside the cell. Some of that sodium is pumped out, but not all. So over time, the action potential becomes more positive. Once it reaches negative 70 millivolts, that's threshold. Threshold is the end of phase four and the beginning of phase zero. Phase zero is the depolarization of the cell. It begins when the sodium fast channels open allowing sodium to rush into the cell while potassium is pumped out of the cell. And as quickly as the sodium fast channels opened, they close. When the sodium fast channels are closing, the L-type calcium slow channels open, which allows continued depolarization of the cell. And by the time this depolarization is complete, the cell is positive. Phase one is also known as early repolarization. During phase one, sodium is pumped out of the cell, calcium continues to enter the cell, and potassium channels open briefly, allowing some potassium into the cell, which causes the action potential to become more neutral. Phase two is also known as the plateau phase. During phase two, both calcium channels and potassium channels are open, and they actually balance each other out, which creates the plateau. About halfway through phase two is where the actual contraction of the myocardium occurs. Phase three is the repolarization of the cell. During phase three, the calcium channels close and calcium is pumped out of the cell, but the potassium channels remain open and potassium continues to enter the cell. Because there's now more potassium than calcium, the action potential returns to negative 90 millivolts. 